So I got a package today. Let's open it up. And a foot for the saber saw. So next up, we have this piece over here. Let's see. Voila, nice and shiny. And that fits on the saber saw. This locking pole, and there we go, fixed. That was easy. That's really good and easy. Uh, I haven't checked carbon brushes yet on this machine, so let's do that now. Too much chunk falls in. Usually they pop right out. This one is a bit. Ah, there we go. Our first carbon brush that's halfway its use. The, the other ones that I checked on all the other machines, they had like full size carbon brushes so this one has actually been used quite well but it still is good to go it's carbon brush number 303 I don't know if you can see it there we go so yeah let's pop that one back in And screw the cap back on. Always start threads by hand so you can feel when they are binding and when they are not in place. Uh, this one has some, what is it? It's styrofoam, <laughs> it's malleable, it's uh, those packing blocks the big white sturdy ones um, that you can dissolve with acetone yeah <laughs> quite a lot of it so let's clean it out one day maybe we'll do that later um, so yeah same over here don't get any junk in there can help it this guy it's quite stuck in there really uh, and it's also halfway past this one does also have the marking 303 and it actually has a dotted line at the bottom um, so I think we need to change this one out in maybe a year or two because it's not going to see any heavy use with me Let's see it might be on backwards now but yeah whatever okay Let's see if it still works Seems to be a recurring theme that whenever I take out carbon brushes, put them back in, 
the machine stop work, stops working. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm guessing it's the other one, this guy. Let's take a look. Oh, no, if you can see it. Let's take the There is some junk in there. How the fuck did it get there? Ah, oh, yeah, it must have fallen off from the side. Let's see if it simply falls out. It does not. Fuck. Okay. So, we unplug the machine, we put the carbon brush to the side, we grab our second one. Take out the other one. Make some more room. Now to undo this. Actually, let's just try with this. Maybe it comes off backwards. You never know. enough what seems to be the major issue my dude poor camera you're probably rocking for it okay nice Try to not pull it apart too much. This is a great opportunity for using something like this. It's basically used in computer cleaning. Let's test it first. Yeah, still air, you can use a compressor or whatever. But I don't have one. There we go. All clean. This has a potentiometer over here, just rigged to the button. Yeah, the machine is from 2007. I thought it was newer, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is a great opportunity to clean out all this junk. Okay, so I cleaned up this part as well. Now I'm going to refit the handle. Okay, so the machine is fitted back together, now we just need to grab our carbon brushes again, insert these in the wall, grab the cover plate and thread it back down.
doesn't have to be too tight because it's made of plastic which means the copper plate may break before that uh, carbon brush let's put it back in tie down So, oh yeah, we have Yeah, we got the speed increase <laughs> Okay, good Good enough So, we fixed This machine as well, well fixed It wasn't broken It just missed this part That uh, we inserted So, good that it's only this that was missing um, and yeah we cleaned it out on the inside somewhat um, always nice to see and know what's inside of your machine anyway thanks for watching have a good one i'll see you in the next video